إذا صادف أحدكم هذا المخلوق اللطيف الصبور الشغيل الخلوق فليأخذ صورة معه قص صورة لا تخجل Once upon a time couple of youtubers got tired of making vlogs got tired of internet beef so they decided to take the matters in hand that is when the youtuber tiktoker content creation influencer meme influencer boxing came along now i'm sure you've seen videos of boxing you've seen events of boxing where influencers fight each other sometimes they get too excited they get way over their head and they decide to fight Floyd Money Mayweather, Mr. Logan Paul, and those bored YouTubers who came with the idea of boxing, they were very smart with it because that's what people like to see. There's internet drama, but there's only talks. Why not we settle the inter internet drama inside a ring? And what do fans like to watch the most? Their favorite creator beating the shit out of their least favorite creator. But slowly, slowly, these influencer boxings are dying out because all the big names, they already fought. There's no massive beef right now for anyone to settle. And Misfit, I don't know, it was Misfit episode 13. They kept on going for like 12. Uh, the first one, two, three was interesting. The rest, they were just going with it because why not? But on Misfit 14, which was last night in uh, Nashville, I think in Nashville, there was a very embarrassing fight where I didn't even know it was taking place. That's how dead YouTube uh, or uh, social media influencer boxing is. Vitaly versus... Modin, the condom head. Now, personally, I don't really like talking about Vitaly or Neon or these kick streamers anymore. But hey, the views are down. This is what you guys like. So I will give you what you want. Now the poor man can't be here with him. He's got to on. breathe. He's holding his breath in. He's, he's just kind of running. Not... The fight lasted one round and no one was entertained or satisfied with the fight. Like if you put my two little cousins... 10 year olds inside they will be more inter entertaining and they will be they'll be showing you wwe moves you didn't know even existed at some point he's got to gain some respect oh, big right hand right, 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 right. this fight could be over very soon I'm... seven eight yeah someone's over now why is the title of this video this is embarrassing because of the energy that was in this fight and what Vitaly did later on. The energy in this fight, if you would go to my grandma's bingo, there's more energy in her bingo night. If you go to my grandpa's uh, playing chess in the park with his friends, they have more energy than this fight. You had to watch the pre-fight conference. That was the time where high energy, the talking shit, the throwing bottle. But hey, I guess it's all part of the game. But... They did not stand on business. You know who stand, who stood on business? The kid Neon threatened that the kid Neon got banned for and the kid showed up at the event. We're going to talk about it in the next video. Now, after the fight ended, the people from Misfit wanted Vitaly to take a drug, drug test to see if he's on steroids or not. If he is, there's most probably he's going to get disqualified. This is how he interacted with the, the people. About this whole thing. And what if I say no to the test? Not like I'm scared, but what if? I'm already disqualified? The commission makes the decision. Because it's not a professional box, yeah. boxing match. What kind of commission? Uh, they, they just want right. misfits. Once their views, they're just trying to expose me here. But I'm telling my viewers in my last, I say it in every stream. I prescribe testosterone, baby, 150 cc a week. But you're not going to find drugs. You should test me for drugs. Uh, maybe you Photoshop it to put my come back down that's what you guys do you guys are the best putting the people go back on top you guys bring them down well vitally not really this is like a fuzzy tube situation you go all the way top you lose your head you think on top of your shed you make some money you go you go buy drugs you go buy alcohol you ruin yourself if you do everything right if you do everything i'm, I'm talking about small mistakes you won't have these kind of issues and you won't let people to put you down i'm not gonna do it the chat told me to do it. So here's the <laughs> request from Vada. Okay. I don't Vada. give a f who are they? So Vada's That's what I think about Vada. Definitely after that interaction. Oh, can you see? The red uh, mask for Vitaly comes on and the video starts, uh, the camera starts going from here to here. You're on my phone. It's the open door. That's it. I'm done. I'm not talking to you. Goodbye. 
leave me. Let me enjoy my moment. Yeah, there's some consequences. I don't know. What's, what's going to be the consequences? Me and you are going to step in the ring? What's going to be the consequences? Oh, my phone. It's an the open door. I personally don't know. Are you doing your job? Then get the out of here. I'm telling you, I'm being nice. I was nice. I joked around, but I don't. I'm not a sheep, okay? Lions, not sheep. Freedom over fear. You all oh, leftists, whoever the f you are, I don't give a f about the test. I told you, I I'm on testosterone. Do whatever you want. It's not a professional. I'm still getting my bag and I'm writing with my chat. And my chat told me, don't do it to go f yourself. So, Maxime, have a nice day. I'm done. Oh, can you see? This is another uh, time Vitaly uh, did that, and that's how he feels. That's how he feels like he looks like in front of his chat and the chat was like w's w's in the chat now that guy was doing his job he was being very polite about it he never raised his voice or said anything that would upset anyone in any matter but vitaly he went at him he was like i am sheep in some a wolf thing maybe he mentioned a, a lion basically what went through his head is like oh i i'm getting on top and you are going to Put me down. You're only here to drag me down from the top and expose me. And that is not something I will accept. And starts shouting at him and starts embarrassing him in front of thousands of people. Now, he said he takes testosterone, but I think it's deeper than that. Because the way he said it, the testosterone might, might be just like a cover-up thing. But even if you take steroids, why do you need to take steroids again, Modine? Have you seen Modine? Bro is one slap away from dying. Why would you want to put steroids? Anyone who's fighting Modine. You don't even, even need to train before going into a ring with Modine. And another embarrassing thing is his beef with the Neon. Why is his beef with Neon? Because Neon has 90,000 viewers on each stream. So why not start an internet beef together? So, I mean, it's business. He understands business. Shut the fuck up. Shut the you, you're a nobody. Come on, Neon. Why are you hiding behind security? Let's start. I just want to talk to you. On, Shut your mouth. We're all going to have to be out of the house. Look at him. He's talking to you? Yeah. yeah, boy, because he has a big ass bodyguard. No, because I'm right here. Uh, who the you? Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Who the fuck are you? Now, I'm not going to lie. When Vitaly came back and he decided to have a comeback, I was like, yes, Vitaly, I support you. Do you be a better person than you? He is worse than before. Now, I respect the hustle. I just don't accept this Jack DeHorty behavior. But I guess this is what happens when you start streaming on kick. The, the magic, the black magic, the curse gets to you and makes you feel, makes you have these kind of behaviors. Because why? You get with the IRL streamers, they get very drunk with viewers' power, likes, comments, L's in the chat. W's in the chat. But why do I say this is embarrassing? Because uh, Vitaly, you're like 45, bro. And this guy's like 19. I think it's better if you pick. I understand he has viewers. I understand you want this to be it's like strictly a business thing. But someone at least in their mid-20s will be understandable. But when you go against someone where, uh, Vitaly, you just started a YouTube video and this guy was still in his dad's boss. When you go against this age of a gap, it doesn't look good, Habibi. <laughs> Scared, but yeah. Scared. Oh, can you see me? Oh, my. Oh, yeah, that was it. That was it for today's video. <laughs> see ya.